What is extramedullary disease? How is it treated? So extramedullary disease is the kind of hot topic nowadays. And basically medullary disease, the medulla is inside the marrow. Once the disease spreads outside the bone marrow space, we call that extramedullary. And this is becoming more and more common because we have such great drugs nowadays. And basically, if you take your initial myeloma and treat it, that 1% that survives is more resistant. Then that grows up. And you kill that and the 1% that survives grows up. And ultimately, you develop this more resistant disease that can live anywhere in the body. Normally, myeloma has to live inside the marrow. It's like a plant. It needs the roots, uh, the, the soil to survive. Uh, but extramedullary disease is like a tree that said, I don't need the soil, just got up and started walking away. Um, there's no specific therapy for extramedullary disease. Uh, certain drugs seem to have better efficacy than others, um, but we don't really have it nailed down exactly which combinations just yet. And especially when you develop a lesion, if it's in a really bad place, we always have the ability to radiate. Extramedullary disease is when the myeloma cells, they go outside of the bone marrow and they can form localized tumors in different places of the body outside of the bones or the bone marrow. Extramedullary disease can be seen in any part of the body. Uh, we can see it in lymph nodes, we can see it in different types of organs, we can even see it uh, in the skin. It, it unfortunately can go in, into any tissue or any organ in the body. This can be treated, normally we treat this in the same way as multiple myeloma in general. Uh, it tends, these tend to, they can be sometimes a little bit harder to treat and sometimes they require more traditional chemo to treat that kind of extramedullary disease. If it's localized in one region or one site, we can also, um, if applicable, we can also do radiation therapy. So I'll start off by talking a little bit about m multiple myeloma and, you know, a lot of Folks that, that are new to understanding what multiple myeloma is always wonder, you know, what their stage is, if they have me metastatic disease, et cetera, et cetera. Because and, and those are the com common terms we hear for, for the more common uh, cancers, which are really the solid cancers like breast cancer and, and lung cancer. But however, multiple myeloma at its very early steps is already throughout your body because it is a blood cancer and blood travels all over your body. So as you know, the plasma cells or the myeloma cells, their natural residence is, is inside the bone marrow. And, and most patients, when we first diagnose them, definitely in the earlier stages, um, those cells are still confined you know, in, the, in the bone marrow. So the bone marrow obviously is that space you know, within, within your bones. So extramedullary disease, disease is really when the myeloma cells really are able to break free from the bone marrow and are able to survive and actually thrive outside of the bone marrow. I think the state of the science right now is you, the best, use the best drugs for multiple myeloma that you have at, for that patient at that moment, it, whether, regardless of whether they have extramedullary disease or not. I think then, you know, there's important questions. For example, you know, is it an isolated extramedullary lesion, plasma cytoma or something, or is it really diffused? Is, that, is there a role for radiation? Sometimes if, if they're little, or if they're causing you know, pro, a pain and, and other problems. Um, and also, lastly, you know, to get a sample of that and look at it under the microscope, I think is really inf important because sometimes you can actually see morphologic changes in those myeloma cells that may kind of suggest that a certain type of regimen may work better than the other. Like for example, sometimes what we see, especially in a particular type, particular types of myeloma, is the cells may actually um, regress. You know, uh, uh, meaning they may look like younger cells or, or cells that, that are are different and and what we call medically anaplastic um, or, or lymphoplasmoblastic. Um, and sometimes those type of you know transformations. Patients may do, you know, or the tumors may respond better um, to more traditional cytotoxic chemotherapies, even in myeloma, you know, therapies that we use anyway, like, um, you know, the regimen DCEP, for example.